Warning, the following recipe contains non-specific amounts. Terminology such as parts and smidges will be used and you will be expected to fine tune your own rub. BBQ with Franklin does not condone or promote such seriousness regarding barbecue. You know, rub is an integral part of barbecue. You can go to the store, you can buy all kinds of different rubs, or you can just make your own. They're really not very hard. So today we're gonna to kind of make an evolving rub out of onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, salt, pepper, some sugar. So I'm gonna start with the base. Pepper. We are gonna do the same amount of kosher salt. So this is my basic brisket rub, half kosher salt and half black pepper. And what makes it evolving is you could actually add onion powder, garlic powder, some savory aspects if you want. So this is for brisket. Got a little bit of onion powder here. I kind of think of it as put just barely enough where you can almost taste it. A little bit of garlic powder. So this is becoming more of a Texas-y kind of brisket rub. Might also be good for some other things. Put a little bit of chili powder in it. And this would be great for brisket, or it'd be good for shoulder butt, also known as pulled pork. If I was gonna make pulled pork, I'd add a little bit of Hungarian paprika. This will add color, not a lot of flavor, but it's great for pulled pork. Give you a nice red mahogany color. Oh yeah. And it would also add a little bit of dry mustard. And this kind of gets me a little more on the savory side, a little bit of balance in there. I think it just adds some complexities. But if I was gonna make pork ribs, I'd add a little bit of pepper. Since ribs are really, really thin, you don't want too much salt. So I'm gonna double up the black pepper. So this is a great rub for pork ribs, but to turn it into a chicken rub, just add a little bit of brown sugar. You could also add white sugar, I prefer brown sugar. It's got a little molasses-y kind of flavor to it. So the reason why I wouldn't add any sugar for brisket, pulled pork, or ribs, since those are really long cooks, sugar has a tendency to burn, but chicken's a quick cook, and I think chicken could really benefit from a little bit of sweetness too. So this is kind of an evolving rub. It starts off with salt and pepper, really good for brisket, but then as you add other things, it also becomes good for other cuts of meat. So you can really use as much of this rub as you like. I prefer to go a little bit lighter, but either way, it's a very simple rub for you to make at home.